Build me a base and I'll give you a new skin. Now you guys can vote for the winner down in the comment section below. And if you want to be part of contests just like this in the future, make sure that you guys join that discord link that is currently down in the description below. Not only will I be doing build contests just like this, but I also am working on a brand new game mode within Lego Fortnite to run more contests to give you guys some skins just for winning those games. Now, final thing, there will be times during this video where I'm not talking at all. There's a very long video in comparison to my other ones as well as the fact that we're just taking a look at very nice things that people were building in the game some of this stuff I'll talk over and I'll highlight but for the most part there'll just be an instrumental over the background and I'm honestly kind of looking forward to you guys commenting down below things that you really liked about these bases or things and ideas that you guys have that you would have changed or added to some of these players bases so make sure that you guys are active in that comment section letting all of us us know exactly what you would do differently. Now this first base that we actually are taking a look at here is done by Shmoo and by Spidey and shout out to them because not only are they helping me on future projects due to their creativity but also they went ahead and allowed us to take a look at their base despite it not being part of the contest. This first seed that we're taking a look at here made by them is actually their home base and they're making so many improvements to this day to day so we're not even looking at a finished product but you guys can see some unique things like the llama pen they have a nice farm they have this play area for kids or really anybody to go down the slides go on to the swings and different things like that they had obviously the barn which is connected to the farm they have a very nice pool area which was very far out of the way from their original starting point. They have a hot tub, they have a bar, they have a diving board, they have towels laid down, that way that you could just lay on by the pool, as well as a living situation here as well. And you're gonna see a lot of really unique and fun concepts out of them, even when it just comes to their villagers as well, when it comes to restaurants and little huts that are on the beach. So many really unique and awesome things in this video here. I'm sure they would appreciate it if you guys had any ideas on things that they could add or change about their base but this was an absolutely awesome one to take a look at and i'm just being honest it is a million times better than my base but let's go ahead and take a look at theirs and then check on a few of the contest entries to see how their bases hold up to this one Now our first entry is from Tearful, a very active member inside of our Discord, and he went and created 
his base on top of the snow biome on a giant mountain. Let me tell you, this base has so many unique things that I had no idea about. And you guys should really take a look for them. The little secrets and the little hidden stuff that he did, like this first one, which looks like a table, but it's actually a jump pad to bring you to the villagers' beds inside of this hotel for them. Now, this base is filled with some really unique designs and setups. There's a few things that I really like about this that I'm going to apply to my actual base as well, as well as some things that you may have already seen from the last person's base that we took a look at. So. Let me know what you guys think of tearful setup here in the snow biome. The snow biome is a very popular place for people to go and build their bases as well as the shore biome. So I really would like to know what you guys think of his. And if you had to rate this on a scale from one to 10, where would you rate tearful's village on a full scale? Now, what I love so much about this contest is now Colossus is going to go in a completely different direction than what our last two contestants did. When we took a look at Tearful's map, he was on the snow biome, he was on top of a mountain, but a lot of it was based on being outside. It had a lot of really nice tricks and gadgets to it. However, when we take a look at Colossus's base, he is same thing on top of a snow biome map, but his base is completely different. You can kind of see that it has this king and queen 
queen style of set to it. He has so many unique statues that are set up all around this base. He has a very nice bathroom with solid lighting in every single room. When it comes to the library, the kitchen or the dining area, as well as the bathrooms, there's so many nice little things done about this base. It's not as much about, hey, I did all of these very large things, more so Colossus did all of the little things right, which made it even better to take a look at. I think that between this base and Tearful, it's gonna be really difficult to see where you guys judge it because they are done so differently, which is why this is so much fun. So same exact thing with Tearful, watch the remainder of Colossus's base here, try to keep your eye on all of the small things, and then give me your one to 10 rating down in the comment section below. Now our final contestant is Dill Pickle, who did something extremely unique, unless of course somebody ruins this and tells me creative just allows this, 
but he went and he found a spot on the map that had a dirt burger statue and built specifically around that. Not only did he build specifically around the dirt burger, he attached it like it was the entryway to a restaurant, which is one of the cooler ideas that I've seen so far. Now, when it comes to his base, that is very likely going to be the peak of it, but every single person's base has had something unique set up to it. Whether it was Colossus's statues and the way that he had the lighting up in every single room to tearful setup when it came to the secret launch pad that he had that was set up underneath a play trampoline area or underneath of a trampoline. There's so many cool and unique things done by every single person. So don't just give me a 1 to 10 rating on Dill Pickle at this point. I want one for every single one of our contestants today. That way I can go ahead and go and reward one of these guys as the winner of the first ever crafty designs build contest.